Gun Meme Review. What is up, you sexy YouTube mother lovers, and welcome back to another episode of Brandon Desperately Tries to Ride the Wave of uh, Views He's Gotten This Last Month, because now it seems like he's got an actual chance at passing Grand Thumb to 2 million. Seriously, if you haven't already, help a brother out. But on this episode, we have even more Alec Baldwin memes, a cool update from Kenosha Kyle, and Ukraine fights fire with memes. Nice. Let's go ahead and start with Alec Baldwin. Just seems appropriate considering we just did a video about the revolver that was used in that incident and whether or not it could go off by itself. If you haven't seen it yet, you can watch it here, there, somewhere. But yes, if you haven't heard, Alec Baldwin is completely denying now ever having pulled the trigger. The gun just fired itself. Is this the gun you were holding? Yep. And it was loaded with live ammunition? Yep. The gun was fired killing another person? Makes sense to me. So you shot someone? Nope. All this now being made a little bit more troubling with the Ghislaine Maxwell trial, all of us now all of a sudden remember Alec Baldwin being in a particular black book. Don't worry, I'm sure he's got an explanation for that too. Yes, I went to Epstein's Island. The plane accidentally flew itself there. I didn't go there on purpose, I was taken there by accident. No, the plane didn't fly itself, the gun didn't fire itself, and Epstein didn't kill. As it fired on its own, the gun yelled out, This is MAGA country. <laughs> Ah, yes, and even more good news, Juicy Sommelier found guilty on five out of six charges. Very strange trial, but basically it came down to he lied about his own hate criming. Pretty scummy thing to lie about. Also reminding angry Twitter blue hairs that Dave Chappelle was right yet again. We understood that this nigga was clearly lying. Moving on, we have a really cool update actually from the Kenosha Kid himself. But before we move into that, real quick, we wanna give a quick thank you to our sponsor, Canadips. Canadips, as the name implies, of course, makes CBD pouches that are nicotine free and in a variety of flavors. If you have anxiety or any of the other things that CBD kind of helps out with, this might be a good place for you to start. They come in a bunch of different flavors like wintergreen, citrus, they're water soluble and 100% THC free, which means they're safe for gun guys like me and you. As it turns out, the federal government, firearms, and pot doesn't really get along too well. So Canadips would be a safe and nicotine-free alternative. So if you go down to the links in the description and in the pinned comment, you can get 50% off if you use the code Herrera off of their holiday box. It's five of their awesome flavors, and it's a great stocking stuffer for the holidays. With 50% off, it comes out to like five bucks a can, 25 bucks total. So if you're interested, give it a shot. I'd like to thank Canadips for sponsoring this episode. Back to the memes. So weekly reminder, Kyle is a free man. Kyle H. Rittenhouse, not guilty. With his newfound freedom, he's been doing the rounds in the podcasting circuit. One of them he landed on was the You Are Here podcast. When they respectfully asked him, you know, does he want to talk about the events, uh, if he's like struggling with PTSD, this was his response. And to be honest, it took me quite off guard. <laughs> like uh, Brandon Herrera says, the AK guy, um, he's from Texas, I believe. The best way to cope is with memes. Yeah. This is one of the, actually a couple of shout outs that I've seen Kyle give me and the channel and gun meme review specifically over the past like week or two. Specifically in reference to using gun meme review and using memes as a way to kind of escape from just the stress of everything. A young man trying to get his entire life taken away from him. That's, I mean, that's a big deal. I could see how that could spur some anxiety. But the fact that gun meme review was able to help Kyle even just a little bit with coping with this situation. That just makes a man feel good. Makes me feel like we're actually doing something here other than just, you know, laughing at dick jokes on the internet. So the gun meme review community, give yourself a little pat on the back there. It appears that maybe, just maybe, we're a part of something greater. I can't believe he didn't cry during Titanic. Do men even have feelings? Like Brandon Herrera says, the best way to cope is with memes. Feels good, man. I'll also put this out there. Kyle, if you're watching, and I think now there's reason to believe that you might be, you're understandably kind of a hard guy to reach these days. If you or anyone on your team wants to reach out to me about being on Gun Meme Review, we'd absolutely love to have you. Come on down to Texas, we'll show you a good time, let you play with some of the fun toys, or we'll come to you, dealer's choice. And to his legal team, I promise I will not say anything stupid that jeopardizes any potential future lawsuit money. Get fucked, LeBron. Just throwing that out there, if it's not interesting to you, no hurt feelings. But I figured I'd make the offer. What's that? I hear a transition. At Ukraine. Types of headaches, migraine, hypertension, stress, living next to Russia. Like Brandon Herrera says, the AK guy, he's from Texas, I believe, the best way to cope is with memes. 
The second part was obviously added by one of you guys, but the first bit is absolutely true. For realsies, the official government of Ukraine's Twitter replied to this new aggression by Russia with a fucking Twitter meme. Now, I myself don't have any strong feelings about the situation over there, and I, I honestly a little conflicted about what's going on, but one thing is for sure. 2021 is so fucking weird. The fact that looking back in history books 50 years from now, they will have a picture of a fucking meme from Twitter as the official response of the government of Ukraine. I would make a reference to idiocracy if this wasn't so fucking funny. What's even better than that is that a couple other governments chimed in. Taiwan, types of headaches, migraine, hypertension, stress, living next to China. And hopefully China doesn't own a controlling interest in Google yet, otherwise I'm gonna have to John Cena and apologize or else I lose my job. Just kidding, you're never gonna see me apologize to China for shit. Just like we didn't see John Cena apologize to China. Ooh, do you see he's invisible, it's the meme. All right, Arun Padur, the Indian billionaire. India times two. Living next to China and living next to Pakistan. So this thread that started with Ukraine has just become <laughs> important people all over the world bitching about whatever country neighbors them. I love it, man, this is kind of funny. At defense summits 10 years ago when they were saying that the future was gonna be in cyber warfare, I really don't think this is what they had in mind. But if that's the future of warfare, Meme War Veterans, assemble. Now we're gonna be moving on, but before we do, Marty Robbins meme, go. Gunfighter ballads and trail songs, Gary Plausch. Don't touch my son, you get what you heckin' deserve. 180 no scope, good parenting. One less pedo, boom, headshot. No jail time, ride or die wife. If you're not familiar with the details of that case, I think Donut Operator did a video on that, like in the last month or so. I hope I got that gentleman's name right, but yeah, no, his his kid uh, got, you know, diddled. The father was not about to wait for a jury, camped out in front of where he was being, I guess, taken to trial, or uh, it was like an airport or something like that. The 70s were fucking different, okay? Pretended to be on a payphone, and then capped the dude as he was walking by, one single shot under the arm. It was honestly a little impressive. Of course, he was brought up on charges for murder, where the judge determined this was a one-time thing. Uh, he clearly did not pose a danger to society as this was extreme circumstances, and uh, I think he let him go. Maybe like community service or something. Based judge is based. Of course, I think the wood chipper would have been more appropriate for the gentleman he shot, but you know what? We don't always get what we want. Me and my friend watching the skinwalker that's been fed nothing but Mountain Dew and Coke attack the alphabet boys. And these skinwalker memes are making a comeback out of fucking nowhere. Also, yes, this is a screenshot from uh, my video cameo in Mr. Beast's video. Should still probably be his newest on his channel. Yeah, he was doing a video where he was getting hunted by the military, a couple of, uh, I think, former SEALs. He asked me if I could blow up a bridge. I obviously said, yeah, yeah, I can do that. Pretty cool deal, I like working with those guys. It's uh, really neat to see what actual professional YouTubers do. If you're interested on like a behind the scenes sort of thing, I could talk about that maybe on the B channel. Just let me know down in the comments if that's something you guys uh, are interested in. But yeah, no, cool time, fun time. Thanks, Jimmy. You take place on Christmas Eve, but we do not grant you the rank of Christmas movie. This is outrageous, it's unfair. How could you be set at Christmas and not be a Christmas movie? All right, guys, sound off in the comments. Is Die Hard a Christmas movie? A lot of people say it is, a couple people say it isn't. My personal opinion, of course, Die Hard didn't start out attempting to be a Christmas movie, but I'll be damned if that isn't what happened. Yeah, so this Christmas Eve, I'll be watching Hans Gruber drop off of Nakatomi Plaza like God intended. My body is a machine that turns paychecks into firearms. Yeah, that's pretty relatable. Uh, the only thing I would change is uh, my body is a machine that turns AdSense uh, into firearms. It's basically my entire business model here. Speaking of which, my hands look like this so that her hands can look like that. Declined. Yeah, I think that's an HK416. Um, yeah, if you're buying one of those, honey, it's gonna be ramen night for the next 16 nights, if you catch my drift. But come on, you work hard, you deserve it. You earn that money after all, it's you could do with it as you please. Unless your wife is the breadwinner, in which case, uh, I don't know, get, get good at that thing she likes. God dang it, Bobby, you overheated the MG42. There's no way we can fend off this Soviet charge without it. Face the wall, boy. Now I'm just sad I'm reminded I don't own an MG42. Yet. 
The CIA Award for Excellence in Journalism. That one's dark. Honestly, that's the CIA award I was worried about winning for that JFK video we did. Yeah, you start casting doubt about the JFK thing and all of a sudden you have a heart attack that requires a closed casket. That's a joke. I hope. Okay, three questions. How much, where, how long to install? I would like both driver and passenger side options. Yeah, I've seen these before. They're honestly, that's, I, I get it, it's kind of neat, but it's also kind of dumb because those barrels have nowhere they would go. It, it goes straight into the fucking wheel well. This is obviously just fake. Like, there's no way it could function, I mean. If I ever really wanted to mount a minigun inside a small civilian vehicle like this, I would just call up Richard Ryan. I hear he's done that a time or two. My right nut when I appendix carry. Now, I'm obviously a fan of appendix carry, and uh, so this is something that's crossed my mind before, and I've realized, uh, <clears throat> the answer is don't think about it, Morty. Yeah, I, I mean, appendix carry is perfectly safe. Just, uh, Pay attention on that reholster. Otherwise, you're gonna win yourself one of those Darwin Awards that requires stitches. Grease guns, walmart.com. I go to Walmart. God, I fucking wish. Maybe if this was actually a free country. I did just buy a grease gun parts kit though. Uh, so I'll definitely have that on the channel whenever I can find the rest of the receiver chunks to put that together. Cause that's apparently hard to find. Grease guns are fucking dope though. Nobody. British snipers. That knife be looking kind of long, governor. You got a license for that. I see a license here, but you got a license for that license? I legitimately saw people arguing the comments, I think of the last video that I did where, you know, it was the typical argument where somebody in the UK was like, well, you Americans are so crazy because you got all these guns and all blah, blah, blah. And somebody replied back like, well, look at your country. You got all this knife crime. And I swear to God, the guy from the UK said with a straight face as his reply, no, we don't. We <laughs> we don't have knife crime. They ban those too. One of these days, I suppose Europeans are just going to have to understand that there is a fundamental difference in American thinking. Even if banning guns altogether, of course it's going to reduce gun violence, but the, the problem is, is it going to reduce violence? Violence. Like, just all violence. I personally don't care what I'm getting killed with. I care about the fact that I'm getting killed. But even hypothetically, if Americans were confronted with a stat that said basically, you know, banning all guns causes a, a drop in violence, we're still not going to accept it because it's not about hypothetically what makes it the safest. We just like freedom here. The freedom to do what you want as long as you're not hurting anybody, the freedom to be your own person, and the freedom to not be restricted by the government telling you what you can and can't have. That's what this country was founded on, and that's the sort of stuff that makes it great. Now, if that sounds terrible to you and you prefer to live somewhere else, well, by all means, plane ticket prices are getting cheaper. Anyhow, I just went on a very unfortunately long political rant, so I think that is time to wrap up this episode of Gun Meme Review. If I haven't scared you off yet, please consider subscribing, definitely like, leave a comment for the algorithm, it does help. If I don't see you before then, which I probably will, just in case, you guys have a very, very Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah's already over. Whatever you're going back to celebrate, I hope you have a good one. Thank you for watching to the end of the video, and as always, I will see you sexy YouTube mother lovers in the next video. Thanks. Fear is my obsession to make the perfect weapon like us put in the to the top. But I can't let you can stop, 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 can stop. Today we've got even more Alec Baldwin we weems. What the fuck? If you deal with anxiety or any of the other things that CBD helps with, this might be a good place for you to start. As I throw this shit everywhere, fuck.